Hey guys, it's Music Clues here, here, and welcome to a brand new Gamer's Den. Uh, today I'm here with, uh, Tor. Uh, and, um, you've probably seen her in the McKnight server, or you know her, know her from her YouTube channel. And, um, I'm here to, uh, talk a little bit about, about her gaming history as well as how she started the channel, where she's gone, what she's up to today. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so first things first, uh, let's talk about your gaming history a little bit. So, how'd you get into gaming? Where'd you get started? I first started playing video games when I was about six, and that was when I was first introduced to Pokemon. First game being Pokemon. Since then, I've been in love with Pokemon ever since, to this day. Just the games, I used to watch the anime only of the only of the Kanto series. After that, I stopped watching it. Ah, I see, I see. So, um, um, from the sounds of it, it sounds like you are a big Nintendo fan. Fan. I assume you currently own a Switch. So my second question is, what are your top? If you do own one, what are your top three? Three Switch games. If not, then your top three uh, video games from your current choice system. Well, I pretty much have a variety of game consoles. You could say I've all, I've owned throughout my life every like one of each console. Right now, I have a GameCube, PS4, uh, Nintendo 3DS XL. Uh, I love playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Love, uh, XD Gale of Darkness doesn't get old for me, and then the Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that's totally oh, really cool. Cool. Uh, I am a big fan. I have just been converted thanks to Kingdom Hearts 3 into becoming a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Although I'm gonna have to play the whole other set of games. Games. Sheesh. You should phone me the. Uh, story. Yeah, there's a lot, and there's a lot of story ideas that you have to pay attention to, and you have to make sure you play them in order, or you're gonna get confused. If uh, you think I what well, uh, I I know better than to start out of order. Order. Of course, I was gonna play the, uh, them in order. Order. If I did. Yeah, playing them out of order will make you more confused to, to those who are still getting introduced to the Kingdom Hearts series. So it goes as Birth by Sleep, then Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain of Memories, then I believe it's 358 Nintendo DS, then it goes Kingdom Hearts 2. Now I heard there was one, one called Recoded, I've never played that one, but from what I heard about it, it's not that good. Then there's Kingdom Hearts 3, and that... Well, no, it's Dream Drop and Kingdom Hearts. And I feel that's not where it's going to end, honestly. That's just my opinion. I think they're going to keep continuing it. Yeah, I got instinct telling me that. <laughs> oh, well, I don't but like any at all. Oh. So, um, two more questions before we get into your YouTube history. Uh, first of all, uh, what is your most hyped game? Like, what game are you the most excited about? For the Final Fantasy 7 remake only because I played it on the PS1 and I can't wait to see how well they have done the for it as the remake that's what I'm excited for I don't personally uh, personally blame you at all all we have another go gamer who bought the collector's edition he is ecstatic about it out it uh, but nah, I think I'm gonna buy the standard edition because I'm not that excited <laughs> as probably both of you are. But uh, uh, all cool, all cool. Uh, um, I'm sorry, you got cut off. Off. What was the other game you said you were possibly had for? Uh, Pokemon Shield. Oh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Actually, um, I really like it haven't really said much about it they keep they're keeping it really good for sun and moon slash ultra sun ultra moon and that's what i love about it 
it's like getting into the game and finding out all the secrets that it holds. Not to mention now it's actually a free, looks like from what I'm understanding it's a free roam. I'm excited. Yeah, I to yeah, I to totally think, think that's all uh, very cool. Uh, cool too. I'm excited to see what they have. I'm glad they haven't shown too much yet. Yeah, because honestly, I want to see what this. Hmm? Sorry, what were you gonna say? I was saying I'm 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 also excited that they didn't show like much about it, like new new stuff, new Pokemon wise. I'm noticing they're real um a lot of the Kanto region, and I feel it's because they're trying to imp the first generation Pokemon from all those years ago for the young day. Yeah. And that's just how I feel about it. Yeah, honestly, I'm a little sick of the Kanto pending, but nah. Eh, eh, game, eh, game Fix doing a good job. I mean, come on. Look at all the go- Look at all, literally all the gold players that everybody's been playing. Hey, we'll have the fifth gen now in Pokemon Go, speaking of which, guys. Guys, and honestly, honestly, I'm just very, very excited to see all these players coming in. Despite the controversy about the you-know-what. Uh, uh, but, um, yeah. Okay, and one last question. What is your favorite game of all time? Mm, I would say Final Fantasy X and X2 because there's a lot to do in those and the, the story doesn't get you can find, do a lot of stuff post game before continuing on to the story wow yeah I have X, uh, X and X2 on Switch I have yet to play those play so I've heard terrible things about the story but I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt doubt out because I ended up playing uh, Paper Mario Color Splash. I had doubts about that game story and gameplay, and I ended up loving it. So touche. Uh, so I'm very excited to see what this one, that one has to offer. Um, any tips before I dive into it? Um, try to grind. You can say for X for X at least, and you're gonna have. To see some playthroughs on certain parts because so that's what I had to do um especially trying to learn the jack shot know how to do that at all so I had to look it up mm. and then the thing the most the hardest thing in that game is the jokeable race and also blitz ball mm. throughout the game that's tedious uh, well thanks for the warning <laughs> I've heard a, heard a lot about the blitz ball but the TV it's it, tedious it's tedious <laughs> well at least you gave me a heads up thank you for the warning uh okay so now let's get into your youtubing history so i w was wondering so where'd you get started with your um scene clear i uh uh did you like stop uh did you uh did was this always a hobby of yours? Did you... Is someone Singing has been an ultimate passion of mine ever since I was... Ever since I was five. I've done 10 plus years. And I've also... I sing every single day to heighten my vocals. And from starting out when I was younger, I've gotten a lot better. So each and every day my vocals get more pow powerful, which is good for future businesses and stuff. Yeah. Very true, very true, true. I would say, say uh, I've been dancing since I was very, very young. Young. My mom has shown me pictures, pictures, and told me I was pretty, basically, a little Michael Jackson when I was young. <laughs> uh, so I know how it feels to grow up with music. Really, it's really been a hobby of mine for a long time, and I never get tired. Uh, so my next question is what. Uh, how'd you get started into the YouTubing business of doing this? Like, did someone... In in so, I was very nervous because I'm just... But I know there are other people that were better than me out there. But what I... The game series that helped motivate me was... Game, when it first came out. 
itself, but after watching playthroughs of it, I really liked how the story was, the character, and I like the way, and I like the way that it's not like any other game where you have to, like, kill monsters to get where you need to go. You can always use kindness and always be yourself. With that, and the first song that I did or attempted to sing was DJ Smell's uh, version of what was it? A um, mega version. I sang that as my first song, as my first video, and from there. And this in the beginning, I used I I had my phone microphone. I didn't have a laptop. I didn't have an actual microphone. I had no programs. It was just my voice, my voice alone, and there was background noise, of course, but I didn't to sing in a, the most quietest of places. I mean, you you have you use what you got to use in order to start out. But I enjoy doing what I. It's what I love doing. I'm not in it for fame or anything i'm just in it to share my to share what i love and it's nice to be able to talk with people who share that same passion i don't have anybody here in my area that has that passion like me hmm. that's actually a little sad, uh, sad, sad to hear yeah because i got uh, quite a couple people in my area but honestly honestly i'm glad glad you ha I, i'm glad to hear that hasn't deterred to urge you because you've made uh, quite the. I know you say you. I've heard you say you're not big, but honestly, considering how many people probably know you in the McKnight Discord server, I'm pretty sure I would consider you a bit at least a minorly big, big. But um, honestly, honestly, it's uh, Undertale. I've heard a lot about that ga game. Game. I. No offense. I'm not a big fan of it myself, but uh, I have total respect for those who do like it. Like it, and I'm glad to hear that such a uh, uh, an indie game out of all things. Because usually, when it comes to inspiration, people always say it's uh, one of the big AAA games. But here, an indie game inspired you to um, uh, 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 join YouTube. That's uh, that's a real big thing. So uh, I'm not sure if you're watching. Watching this, I forgot your name, developer of Undertale, but seriously, dude, dude, uh, thank you for creating the game for a lot of people, honestly, honestly, especially for here. I'm pretty sure if it weren't for this, 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 I'm not sure she got into singing in the first place. I'm pretty sure she probably would have down a low, but I don't want to quote her on that. <laughs> uh, so, um, okay, let me see. Ah. What has been your most favorite thing to cover, honestly? Like, what's your top favorite color that you've, uh, that you've like, pictured on your, uh, put, uh, like, if you could hang it on the wall, wall, and just look at it every day, which one would it be? Cover-wise that I've done, yeah. not collabs, correct? Yes, correct. I would say Alice's Tango. So I want to say I did really good in getting into character for that song. Hmm, I see. Let's see, uh, so what is that a cover of? It is of it is Chi Chi's. Um, it's Bendy and the Ink Machine. Oh, yes, I've heard a lot lot about that game, a uh, game, <laughs> and I mean a lot. So, um, um, that must be, that must have been a pretty good cover then. And I'm going to have to take a listen to that myself then. I will leave a link in the, in the description below to that as well so the fans can check it out as well. Um, hmm. Okay, hey, now I'm curious. What has been your favorite collab that you've done? I think the most favorite collab I've done was just second channels uh song parody zone song of billy eilish's song um it's called you should see me underground and i voiced as baby Ooh. that sounds 
way past cool. <laughs> uh, uh, honestly, I will also link that one in the description below. Uh, and um, let me see. So, um, so I have a uh, one curious question. So. Did some? Uh, I noticed that you have um, two different outlets, one on your Twitter and one on uh, here on Discord. So, did you design those yourself, or I did? I did not create the art, um, but the art is of my persona for YouTube, and and the way she was created was in her when I wrote my fan fictions on Quotive oh. series, actually. Ah, I see. Well, it's a pretty impossible artwork, must I say? <laughs> uh, even if you didn't make it, make it, I really like like how she's drawn. The the persona is mine. The artwork is not. Ah, got got it, got it. Um, well, uh, uh, I will. Uh, well, I will definitely um say say that. Even though you didn't draw it, that she looks very beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so... Oh, let me see. Can I think of any other questions? Oh, here's one. So, out of all the t uh, Is there a favorite moment in your YouTubing career, career that you've, like... Hold close to your heart. Like, is there one moment in your YouTube career that you've said, I'm very proud to be doing this? Because I've had a couple of my personal, and uh, honestly, I wouldn't trade them for anything. So, is there a moment in your YouTube career that you just treasure forever? Um, this doesn't have anything to do, this does not have anything to do with my channel per se, but I think the most, mo uh, the most, uh, cherished memory I'm gonna hold is when I got to hang out with Kyle Allen Music, uh, his girlfriend, uh, Kao Ryusaki, and Swiblet in person at, at Disney. I will hold that close to my heart because I got to spend time with people who shared that, that same passion with me. And I would not have if I didn't put myself out there on YouTube. Wow. That's true. I do have. Uh, that is very true. That is very true. You putting yourself out there is not an easy thing to do. Do do the fact it's that you. It's not. It's <laughs> not. Uh, so the fact that you got to hang out with pe uh, people you met through that, uh, putting yourself out there, is amazing. I cannot understand why you said said uh, this. Uh, that's something you wouldn't trade for the world. My goal is to definitely meet a whole bunch of people that I've met online one day. Day because it's my uh, that would be something I cherish forever myself. Um, let me see. Um, do you have any tips for anybody that's just getting started uh, uh, doing singing or um, any type of music related thing on YouTube? All I can say is, um, don't be follow you sing with all your heart. Don't be deterred if somebody tells you you don't sing well because you know voice. And if you want to share it, then go go ahead and share. It. Um, and don't put anybody down if you you're someone who is bigger and a smaller channel is just reaching out to you as to do business with someone because it's not about or it's not about if you're if you're famous on YouTube or not. It's talent that you. Have. And that's what needs to be seen, not for your fans, your subs, or anything like that. Just follow your heart with what you love, whether it be singing, drawing, SFM, anything that you love to do, crafts, share it. Um, you'll have people on your side, and they will support you, because there are people who like certain things. Wow. Those are pretty. Those are uh, those are pretty deep words. Uh, honestly, the world could use a lot more more of that with all the hate going around. So, yeah, you just reminded me of one of the reasons why I keep 
uh, why I keep uh, doing the things I left here on YouTube. YouTube. It's not because because I want to do it for fans or followers or anything. I just want to share what I love. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let me see. Um. Do you have anything else you want to say before we wrap this up? No. I think I've said all I want to say. All right. Well, thank you for for coming on and being um, interviewed. Uh, I will leave a link to um, your YouTube, your Twitter, um, uh, and all and all the stuff that we mentioned for links in the description below. And if you all want, and if you all want to subscribe to us here at the Go Gamers, we will have more um, uh, uh, gamers dens. Our next episode will be with us, uh, uh, will be smashing. So be sure to click that sub button and click that bell. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one. This is yours truly, uh, DJ Music Clues, signing out. See ya. Bye.